I'd like to talk to you today about one of the cool pieces of equipment that's inside your flow cytometer. Something you probably don't think about a lot, but you've heard it bandied about. The PMT, the photomultiplier tube. What is a photomultiplier tube? That's this. The photomultiplier tube converts photons of light to current. That current then becomes the data that you read out. This PMT here and how it behaves will affect how good your data is and how good you can interpret your data. But how does a photomultiplier tube work? Have you ever thought about that? What goes on inside this little vacuum tube? Well, let me show you. Here is a diagram of a photomultiplier tube. Cross section. We've now cut the photomultiplier tube down, and here we have it shown here. As light hits the inside, hits the photocathode right here, if it's of sufficient work energy, it will eject an electron. That electron speeds over here to this dynode. The dynode is under slightly higher voltage, and as the electron hits that dynode, it is amplified. Two electrons get shot out to the next dynode, and then four to the next, eight, so on and so forth. So as we go through this whole chain, we're amplifying one photon of light into many, many electrons. What's really cool is at this end here, this is where the photocurrent comes out. And critically speaking, the photocurrent is directly proportional to the intensity of the photons striking that photomultiplier tube. This PMT, well, this PMT is what's working in your system to convert photons of light to current. And that's exactly what a photomultiplier tube does. And that's what a flow cytometer is. It's nothing more than a photon counting device, and it relies on this puppy right here.